Hello tennis fans around the world, welcome to a new episode of Smart Tennis. In today's episode we are going to talk about the drop shot. Slice just over the net, a drop shot is a logical way of exploding space in the front court. It doesn't have to be a winner because it brings your opponent forward. So hitting a drop shot is really good to break up your opponent's rhythm. <laughs> If that's the kind of tennis we're going to see tonight, it's going to be a treat. And now we're going to go straight to the point. Moments to drop shot your opponent. Number one, when you are inside the court and your opponent is off the court. Number two, when the ball is under your shoulders level. Number three, when your opponent is off balance or moving to a specific direction. Let's take a look at Rafa Nadal explaining the drop shot. Ahora Rafael nos explicará cómo lo hace. Yo en la dejada es, un, es un, otra forma de, de hacer un golpe ganador, ¿no? O al menos de intentarlo. Normalmente la dejada se hace cuando tienes al rival lejos, cuando ya llevas dos golpes atacando y le has hecho correr. Entonces, la decisión de la dejada se hace, se toma prácticamente en el último momento. Cuando tú vas a golpear, te preparas para el golpe, ves al rival lejos y en el último momento pues le puedes engañar y hacerle la dejada. Muchas veces no hace, no hace falta que sea una dejada perfecta, simplemente amagando el golpe y haciendo una dejada que salte dos metros por delante de la red y que coja un, pe, un poquito de efecto cortado que no se levante la pelota, puede ser suficiente. Rafael nos explicará cómo hace las dejadas. Primero te tira una bola y hace el movimiento. En este drill, you can see how Tony Nadal fits the ball inside the court, not at the back behind the baseline. Also, you see how he fits the ball below Nadal's shoulder level, which is the logic we talked about before. Analysis of drop shots and situations in the point. Positive court position, drop shot in front. Here, Diaz will apply the logic, getting her opponent off court at the back and having the ball inside the court under shoulders level. The perfect situation for a drop shot. Drop shot cross court. Strykova here will do something which is not recommendable, but she is talented. She got lucky. Diaz was recovering the center and Strykova hit a drop shot from behind the baseline to the opposite direction. Positive court position versus negative. In the same match, the players are trying to push back each other on court and off balance. And Strykova will do something a bit complicated. She will drop shot Strykova when the ball is on the rise, hitting a short half volley shot. Hard to execute, but she made it. Here Mertens playing in Roland Garros will apply the theory, since she pushes her opponent back on court, and then from the baseline, she hits a perfect drop shot down the line. Please note the distance that players are from the net. In the same point, Watson is the one who will take the lead, drop shot in Mertens, applying the same theory. First, moving her opponent, and then pushing her back far behind and drop shot to the front of the court. Please note the distance that players are from the net. Drop shot plus love combination. This is what we talked about at the beginning of the video. Using a drop shot doesn't have to be always a winner. You could bring your opponent to the net and then pass them. Here, Kasatkina drop shots Muguruza, then love her and make her miss the shot. Drop shot plus passing shot combination. 
Another point in Roland Garros, McNally will make use of the drop shot, not as a winner, but as a way to bring Gauff to the net, and then she will go for a passing shot.